air conditioning, please. Woo. Yes, so hot, getting sticky. How do I get to Trader Joe's? Turn around, easy peasy. Uh-oh. I want to say I'm like 15th in line. I'm first in line. Oh, hey, Gary. Here's the TikTok on if you can. I'm extremely thirsty, a little hungry, and I just realized I did not drink anything today, so I need to go home ASAP. These are all the snacks I got from Trader Joe's. Looking at them on my table, I don't know why I thought I didn't get enough because clearly this will probably last me many months. I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to get through all of these, but you know what? It is a big task, but I'm going to do it for you guys. I got the snacks that looked interesting and fun, and I also got a lot of fall-related items since it is spooky season. So uh, let's get snacking, shall we? Just talk Just normally. Talk normally. I want to start off with the fun snacks and then I'll do the fall snacks at the end. Kicking it off, we have PB&J crispy peanut butter filled wafer sticks with raspberry fruit dip. What a cute little snack pack. These reminds me... These remind me of those tiny mini little baguette sticks on this side and then cheese on this side. Was that a snack? I think it was. Ah! Ah! We got a cute little wafer. You dip it in the jam, which is thick with two C's. Oh, that is really good. Tastes just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ooh. I like this. This is an excellent new item. I love going to their new item section and just seeing what unique new things they come up with. And this, this is good. Yum. This is the watermelon jerky dried watermelon. I wonder if this just tastes like dried fruit or fruit leather. I've never seen this before. Don't you love when you rip it in the right place, but it wasn't enough to get it open? I that. I hope nobody touched this. Time to enlist the scissors. I can already smell the fruity watermelon. Um, it looks like this on plastic. This is the whole bag. Like, ooh, shoot. Oh my gosh. Let me just put that back in there. Let's see. Almost ripped my teeth out. Mm. I don't love it. Am I still going to eat it? Yes. That's 
that's like not a really good way for me to rate food because even if I don't like it, I'll probably still eat it because I don't want to waste food. So, so. Organic carrots of many colors. Dehydrated rainbow carrot snacks. Colorful. Haha, this one opened easily. Not like the watermelon. Looks like this. It's not that colorful. This picture is misleading because it's just all orange and purple. Rainbow, my. Once I bite into it, the first thing I notice is that it's super crunchy, but then I'm hit with like a carrot flavor seconds later. When I was little, I thought that carrots tasted like lipstick. Not that I had ever tasted lipstick or consumed lipstick. I just thought carrots reminded me of the smell of lipstick. It's definitely reminding me of that now. Did I try a purple one? I don't remember. Here goes a purple one. I think that's enough. I'm gonna give this a do not like. This is a no for me. Oven baked cheese bites with black summer truffle. I love anything with black truffle. Pasta, sushi, popcorn. That is an exaggeration. Not anything with black truffle, but I really like truffle. Smells super cheesy. I can kind of smell the truffle. Pop one in there. Very crunchy, very cheesy. A little hint of black truffle, which is good. You don't want the truffle to be too overpowering. I feel like, <clears throat> oh, oh, bored me, <clears throat> choking. Oh. I would eat a couple of these and then it would get a little bit too heavy. Why did my voice just cut out? Maybe if I kept eating them. So this isn't a snack that I would watch TV eating because I could only eat a handful and then it'd be too much. Does that review make sense? I hope so. One more for the road. They say cheese is a drug or it's as addicting as a drug, but I'd rather have my drug of choice be cheese than, I don't know, say, smoke and crack out of your mom's <laughs> Crispy banana ribbons. Thinly sliced banana crisps with a hint of glaze. Let's see what's up with these. They are a bit longer and thinner than the banana chips I've had before. Mmm, I like how thin they are. They're like potato chips. Now I don't remember if I like plantain chips or banana chips. I think the difference between plantains and bananas is that plantains are hard bananas. Sorry if I'm wrong, which I probably am. I like that it's not super hard like typical chips because I feel like I'm gonna break a tooth on those and I need all my teeth. Like, not love though, sorry. Spud Crunchies potato snacks. A a chip crunch in a fun fry shape. And look at all these fun fries. This is not my first time trying these and these are one of my favorite, favorite snacks at Trader Joe's. They remind me of In-N-Out fries when you get them well done, which I always do. Oof. They look like this and listen to that crunch. I love these. I have bought these repeatedly from Trader Joe's. Oh, and look, they have a dog fry. Wiener dog, fry dog. Wow. Thank God I didn't bite my tongue. That would have been bad. Seasoned kale chips dressed with cashew butter and tahini. They are vegan. I used to buy these all the time because I used to be vegan, plant-based. I didn't eat meat for five years after an incident in Spain. That was messy. Whoa! Here is the kale chip. Wow, this is a blast from the past. I haven't eaten these in so long. Very light, very crispy and crunchy. And the cashew and tahini adds a little bit of flavor. I still like these after all this time. What I don't like is they break apart really easily. So then when you get to the bottom of the bag, it's all these like little flakes. But when you get a big hunk and piece like this, wahoo. wahoo. I remember I was eating kale chips and my friend was like, what are you eating? And I'm like, oh, they're kale chips. Want to try one? And she's like, sure. So I gave her one and she was literally like this. It is getting messy over here. Dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. I like chocolate. I like sunflower seed butter. So I'm gonna give this a try. Oh, dark chocolate. Oops, I didn't notice that part. 
Oh gosh, ow. It's just like a Reese's peanut butter cup. You peel back the paper. It's so rich. The dark chocolate plus the sunflower seed butter was like an explosion in my mouth. I, I like these. I would say I kind of love them, but um, I can only eat one. I can, definitely can't commit to eating another one because it was so rich. So I'm a like, maybe love, but yeah, I'm down for these. The last fun snack we have are these baked cheese crunchies, cheese flavored corn snacks. 40% less fat than regular fried cheese flavored corn snacks. If you know me, you know that I love Cheetos. My favorite chips are Cheetos, if Cheetos count as a chip. Mm-hmm, definitely Cheetos. These are good, hell yeah. <laughs> These are exactly like Cheetos. They're missing just a tinge of that Cheeto flavor. Is tinge a word? But you know what I mean. Mm. Actually, I might taste, nope. Mm. Yeah, missing a little bit of the flavor, but still delicious. Love these. I lied, I forgot about this. So this is the last of the fun ones and it is the ghost pepper potato chips. I don't know why I got these, but I guess I wanna punish myself because I cannot do spicy at all. You know, I do add a little bit of Tabasco or Tapatio to my food, but spicy spicy is a no for me. Wish me the best. Here goes nothing. It's not that spicy. Or do I have to wait for it to kick in? Mm, it's not that spicy. <laughs> not bad. I'm fine. My tongue is burning just a little bit, but I'm still eating it. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Your girl can't do spicy, but these are okay. My mouth is on fire, just a little bit. Let's move on. Goodbye forever, just kidding. So someone's gonna eat these. Will it be me? Probably. I cleaned the table up a little bit because it's time to try our fall finds. I used to hate pumpkin when I was little. Like pumpkin pie was disgusting to me, but I was like a pickier eater when I was little and now I kind of just like eat everything, oh, including your mom's. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to try is Synergy Raw Kombucha Living in Gratitude Fall Edition with apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. I'm a big fan of kombucha. If you've watched my videos, you've seen me drink kombucha a lot. I prefer kombucha to soda. I feel like kombucha is soda. It basically tastes like fall in a bottle if it were kombucha, which is exactly what they were trying to do. So I guess they, they accomplished it. Cheers! I like this kombucha. Would I buy it again? No. That's that. Tastes like fall, leaves, dirt, mud, sticks, twigs. Just kidding. Tastes like a scarecrow, not. Let's get to the next one, shall we? For fall, they have a kettle corn, which is maple flavored with other natural flavors. I love kettle corn. Once I discovered at the movie theater, you could get kettle corn instead of regular movie theater buttered popcorn. I was only getting kettle corn. That is until I realized how much money I was wasting on food at the movie theater. And then I don't buy any food at the movie theater. And now I don't even go to the movie theater because I had a very unfortunate event occur there that gives me Maybe I'll do a story time about it, but uh, also because all the movie theaters are closed due to the pandemic, that was a tangent. Open sesame, oh, sesame. Mm-hmm, they're sweet. I don't know if I can detect the maple flavor yet. It's really hard for me to taste the maple, but I don't know if it's because all my taste buds burned off with that ghost pepper chip. I don't really see how it's different from their typical kettle corn besides the fact that it's like much sweeter and the 
coating is much thicker, but it's a yes for me on this. Boo! Ghost and Bats crispy potato snacks. I think these are just potato chips shaped like ghost and bats. How cute. This is a bat. This is another bat. This is a ghost. Ooh. What noise does a bat make? I don't know what noise a bat makes, so I just improvised. Hope you liked it. Let's try a bat. Mm. Oh, shoot. Okay, so these actually aren't like potato chips. They call it potato snacks. They're like dry and bland. That one was gross. I don't know why. These are no for me. These are just like, what's going on here? They're super bland. I don't even want to eat anymore because I don't like them. This is a hard no for me. Sorry, ghosts and bats. Better luck next time. Halloween JoJo's cookies. Basically, JoJo's are just Trader Joe's version of Oreos. You got a cookie, it got a face on it, kind of like a jack-o'-lantern. And it's chocolate with vanilla bean inside. The cream is like orange. Ooh. These are good. I like. I'm just a bit full at this point. So I'm having trouble eating this stuff. My quarantine has just been snack city. I have not ever snacked as much as I have in these, what, last six months. I'm just snacks on snacks on snacks. So I got enough snacks to last me through the next couple of months. Hell yeah. Ooh la la, how cute are these? They are the Harvest Collection Belgian chocolates. Corn, corn, pumpkin, pumpkin, pine cone, pine cone. Why pine cones? Is pine cone a fall thing that I have not like registered before? Cause I kind of see pine cones year round, at least where I'm from. And it looks like we got some nuts in here. What kind of nuts? I don't know, but they're pretty sizable. Personally, my favorite are the corns. There's walnut praline, hazelnut praline, caramel cream, crispy hazelnut praline. So they're all pralines. Whatever praline even means, like, is there a definition on here? What's a praline? Which one should I try? Obviously, one of the nuts. Those are really good. Extremely rich, so rich. I can only eat half of the nut right now and I'll probably finish the nut later. Love these, so cute. Trader Joe's really comes up with the best stuff. Shove that back in. Next, we have these two spreads. Apple cider fruit spread and cinnamon bun spread. So exciting, I am so excited. Let me toast some bread. I just got Aloha Rolls. I'm gonna shove this in my toaster. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. I don't think this was meant to go in the toaster, but bread is bread. And it's toasted now. The cinnamon bun spread. A rich gooey honey butter base spread with cinnamon bun spices. And, oh, it worked. And the apple cider spread. Oh, that was easier. Oops. This is very liquidy. Which one should I try first? Obviously the cinnamon bun spread, so here we go. That is amazing, holy crap. That is so good. It tastes just like a cinnamon bun, but in a spread. You need to get this. This is the apple cider spread. Very like sweet, refreshing apple, yum. These are both good. This one is the best. I've never tried anything like this. This is the one. So I don't think anything I tried was pumpkin flavored. So now I have two more items, both of which are pumpkin. Pumpkin spice protein smoothie. 
give it a good shake. Here goes nothing. Just based on the scent, not getting a good feeling about this. Cheers. What kind of smoothie is this? It's just drippy drippy. I feel disgusting. It tastes like pumpkin, but in a very undesirable way. And I'm not into it, I don't like it. This is a no for me. Sorry, goodbye. And finally, our last snack of the day is this pumpkin bisque. And this is not really a snack, but I just thought I should throw more pumpkin flavored things into the mix. This is a creamy soup with pumpkin and fall spices. Me, Tiffany, love soup. I love hot soups and hot liquids. So I'm gonna try this for dinner a little later and let you know how it tastes. It's 10.30 p.m., the perfect time to have dinner, and I'm ready to try this pumpkin bisque. <sighs> smells interesting. I'm just gonna have a little. Oh my gosh. There was a hair in this bowl. A new clean bowl. Pour a little inside. Looks very appetizing. It's hot. Ow, ow, ow. Yuck. This soup is really sour. Looking at the ingredients, it says it has apple cider vinegar. This is really gross. I'm having a lot of trouble eating this. Also, it doesn't help that it looks like barf. I'm not into it, I don't like it, I regret buying this. Man, if I was in hell, I'd definitely be eating this pumpkin soup while drinking the pumpkin smoothie. That would be like my hell meal. Hell done. <laughs> and that concludes our Trader Joe's taste test. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, help me. Just to recap which ones I love the most, baked cheese crunchies, oven baked cheese bites, spud crunchies, which are an all time favorite of mine, and then of the fall selection, maple flavored kettle corn, harvest collection Belgian chocolates, the cinnamon bun spread, which is the best of the best. Thanks for watching me try these 15 or so, 15 to 20 snacks from Trader Joe's. It was very enjoyable for me because I love to eat and I hope it was enjoyable for you. This is my first Asian snack, trying Trader Joe's snacks. Please remember, you are a snack, whether you taste good or not. Let me know in the comments which of these snacks you'd be interested in trying and if there are other places that you'd want me to try snacks from. I'm thinking of doing an Asian snack tries Asian snacks and Asian snack make an Asian snack. So those are some video ideas for the future. What am I doing with my hands? I watched a TED talk that hand movements are very good in terms of engaging your audience and conveying what you're trying to say. So that is why I am so expressive with my hands and hopefully it made you more in tune with what I'm doing right now. This is getting a little crazy, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Subscribe for more shenanigans from me and baby Groot. Toodaloo. Ding. Oh man, I'm really full. Who knew eating so many snacks could fill you up so quickly? Is it cannibalism if a snack eats a snack? <laughs>